Alright, so I'm here in Canal Front Park uh, in Lewis, Delaware, and I'm just about to set off on a uh, overnight kayaking trip. I'm going to be going from here down the Lewis Herbeth Canal uh, out to the Delaware Bay and then kayak along the Dewey side where I'll eventually get to Massey's Ditch and I'll be camping on an island from there. Whether I'll do another night or keep going, uh, that's still to, still to be determined. Canal Front Park also has a uh, legit kayak launch, so it makes it a little easier. See if I can catch one. This should be awesome if I can get to him. Hooked up here. I think I'm on a striper. Oh, he came off. Oh, he came off. That was big. You heard that drag ripping. There we go. I'm hooked up. Come on, baby. Oh, no! He came off again. Oh, you're, oh, you're, on, you're off the boat. No, I'm, I'm on the boat. I'm just stuck in a sandbox. Oh! I got you. There we go, I'm hooked up. Oh! As soon as the drag goes. Woo! Come here! Come here! Yeah! Yeah! Oh yes! What a freaking striper! Oh, ho, ho. Yes! Well, this tide's starting to stop, so I'm gonna move on. Stop Boston. That was really exciting, uh, and I, I think I'm gonna hit that spot again eventually. All right, on we go. Well, I'm in Hennelopen Acres now, and I'll be passing the Harvest Bridge here pretty soon. So it's 11:56 uh, now, and I've made it to downtown Rehoboth. I'll take a look at my stats so far. I've gone 5.8 miles with an average of 3.3 miles per hour, and I've been paddling for two hours and 21 minutes. So I'm gonna get back on course here and keep going. All right, so I pulled up on this uh, this little beach here for lunch. Made it to the Rehoboth Bay, but look at what I came across. 
It's the weirdest thing, this thing was buried in the sand. But they're all alive, big crabs. I don't know if I'll cook them or what, but I just hit like a jackpot. That one's definitely a keeper. That one's looks like a keeper. They're big and they're alive. Menu for lunch today includes some hickory smoked uh, spam and bagels and peanut butter. So I made a decision to keep the crabs. Uh, add some fresh food for dinner. Um, so I'm gonna make a case to carry them in the kayak up the bay. Behind me is uh, Dewey Beach, um, and closest behind me is the uh, Rehoboth Bay Sailing Association. So I am well on my way to making it to the projected campsite, and it's pretty calm over here um, in the lee of the, the uh, outer island or bank or whatever you call it. This is the Rehoboth Bay Oyster Company. That's us. And finest oysters, right? That's right. You know what the name of our boat is? Coming What's out of that? Cialis. Cialis. Yeah, I didn't get it. I don't. <laughs> it's us. They hooked me up, so I, I owe them a good deal. Thank you guys. Take care. <laughs> They're so annoying. They're so annoying. All right, on a sandbar again, and fighting some pretty hard current. I'm almost there. So close, less than a mile. So close, my arms are burning. I had no uh, previous kayaking uh, hours before this, so I'm pretty shot right now, but see you on the beach. I cannot express how good it feels to stand up again, but there we are on the, the beach of the island I was aiming for. Feels really good. And I came all the way from out. This thing doesn't zoom, but it's hard to see. Way out there, straight ahead. Oh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> This is how you get to the uh, campsite from the beach. Now the further back on this island you get, the uh, higher the elevation. See back there in that green patch, it was really wet. You'd push your foot down and you'd see um, like water come up. But back here, it's more of like a regular forest surface. So this is where camp will be set up tonight. It is 519 and we got the fire going. 
So we got a crab in there, and I'm testing uh, one of the oysters to see if they'll open up uh, on the fire. Let's get a look at this crab. All right, oyster popped open, uh, so we're gonna take a taste test. Hopefully my stomach doesn't destroy me tomorrow. Man, that is, I've had a lot of oysters in my life. That was really good. All right, I'm gonna make the rest of these because I want that again. All right, Krabby's looking nice and red. Let's see how he tastes. Since that oyster was so awesome, awesome, I got two more. Uh, it's cooking on the open. Couldn't be better. The crab is cooked. It is very good. Quick update. I uh, just ate three crabs and six oysters. So now I'm gonna go down to the water, um, catch sunset here in three minutes, and do some dishes. It is 8.04 now. We got some tea brewing. That's something to look forward to, a little nighttime treat. All right, so it is 9.43 now, and it is drop dead quiet. Not a breeze, not a bug, um, and it is also super dark, um, like completely dark when I turn off the light. Um, but I'm in for the night, and I know it's, it, it is supposed to rain, so gotta be woken up to rain, unfortunately, but it is what it is. We're out here. We're having a fun time. Um, and I'm going to do some reading and hit the sack. See you in the morning. All right, so it is the next morning. And I only woke up once at 3 because of the rain. And it did get really windy. But now I got some water boiling um, to make some oatmeal. I'm not sure what the plan is going to be today. <clears throat> it's a lot windier than what they're calling for and I'm sure it's wavy so I don't know if I'll be able to make it down to Fenwick but that's still to, still to be determined breakfast is served there is nothing colder than breaking down these poles when it's below 45 degrees all right so camp's broken down um, I enjoyed this campsite I'd definitely come back uh, now that I have a trail carved out that beach was really nice it'd be nice if it was warmer um just to be able to swim and that kind of stuff but we're on to uh fenwick island all right all packed up ready to go well this is probably the most nerve-wracking part of the trip the uh indian river inlet crossing but i think the uh conditions are in my favor uh with this wind but i'm aiming for that red house over there So I made it across the inlet, safe and sound. Um, no problems there. Uh, this wind has been a gem on this trip. Um, so now I'm headed for the Aspenwick Canal. I'm not gonna try to take that, um, that other way. Just cause the wind is favoring me towards the uh, uh, Aspenwick Canal. So that's where I'm headed now. As you can see from that uh, footage, it's pretty wet out here. The wind is just building up along the bay all the way and making these like really low period swells. They're not really swells, they're chops. So I'm getting kind of soaked. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, I'm staked out here on a little beach on the uh, Ask the Woman Canal. Everything's drying out. Um, and I'm gonna eat some lunch because it is 1.16 now. Um, the canal has really uh, impressed me. It's, it's crystal clear, um, super calm, uh, not too wide. It's nice. All right, so after a half mile run uh, there and a half mile run back, I got some Wawa, a little extra motivation on this home stretch. Uh, so I'm gonna get back on the water. I'm exhausted, had to run that in boots. Didn't want to waste any time. And I didn't want my kayak to get swept away, but it's here, safe and sound. So this looks like the end of the uh, Ass Woman Canal. Um, looks like I might be into the Ass Woman Bay. I had a perfect turn the whole time uh, with the canal. But there was no wind, and I could definitely feel it. All right, so I'm on another little beach. Stretch break, completely out of the canal now. And I'm headed this way, uh, somewhere. Trying to find a campsite, because I just got approval from the parents that I can stay another night. Um, and I think there's only four more miles to the state line. a cool one to camp on but there's no firewood and I bet it floods so so close another uh, one and a half miles I think to a potential campsite so see you at the campsite hopefully welcome to camp this is a pretty big area um, if I was to do this trip again with like a couple friends, a couple kayaks, I'd definitely come here. There's a really good place for storing kayaks up there and this is just a big wide open campsite. This is how to get to the campsite from the beach. So pretty similar to the, uh, the hike to the other campsite that I was at last night. Now the best way to find a campsite um, when doing a trip like this is to use either Google or Apple Maps and using the satellite mode um, that way uh, you can look for thing well how I found this one was I found the the sand on the satellite um, and I knew that there would be a good spot um, if I was to come to the sand like nice stable stable high ground um, and then the way I found last night's campsite um, was to look for um, trees on uh, on the satellite version of Google or Apple Maps and that indicates uh, high ground that doesn't uh, flood or isn't tidal um, and, will, and should provide a pretty good campsite. Um, on the one yesterday um, I, I got into the trees but it was in a low-line area um, that was flooded from the rain the day before but I got onto a nice uh, area the farther back I got. So this is my first time using these uh, pans and I'm pretty sure they're a piece of crap because I'm not, I don't think pans are supposed to look like that on the bottom. And it's all like, it's all like warped up. I don't know man, I'm getting rid of these. All right, hot dog taste test. I don't make hot dogs often, but when I do, they're usually not very good. Not bad, not great. Edible. They uh, they haven't been frozen since. Is it Wednesday? They haven't been frozen since uh, yesterday morning. But pretty good. Since the only condiment I have is peanut butter, I might as well give this a try. So... Mm. Nah, that's not, that's not good. Oh, that's terrible. Nope. Nope. It's on and off. 
All right, noodles looking good, ready to go. Oh, they even fog up my camera, they're so good. Mm. This is living right here. This isn't surviving, this is thriving. Sunning off. Couple burnt ones, but that just adds to the texture. Still awesome though. All right, just finished up with dinner. Um, so I'm gonna go down to the beach, do some dishes, and watch the sunset. All right, so camp is cleaned up, got everything stored. This is gonna go on the other side. Um, I'm gonna crawl in the bed, um, get some reading done. I'm reading uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest uh, for Honors English 12. And just a little bit of light left. I'm exhausted from these last two days. My back is killing me. But there is only like a mile to, to Ocean City. So, see you in the morning. Alright, so after checking the map, it looks like I have about 1.2 miles um, till Ocean City. So I'm going to get fueled up here with some oatmeal and mixed nuts. Um, and then I'm going to be out of here by 8.30. Uh, hopefully. It is 8.02 right now. So see you on the water. Well, the home stretch isn't going to be easy. This wind is right on shore and it's kicking up some pretty decent waves for the bed. We'll see. So according to Windfinder, it's blowing 18 with gusts of 25. So this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be tough, but I think I can do it. It's gonna be wet, but uh, hey, I have a goal in mind, and I'm gonna do anything I can do to achieve that goal. All right, successful launch. These are like one footers out here. get wet eventually. So this bridge right here marks uh, the uh, Fenwick Island Ocean City line. So a couple hundred feet and then I'm there. That paddle was exhausting, so wet, so wavy, so windy. I was paddling on my left side half the time. It was crazy. All right, let's get there. All right, the blue dot is where I am now. Red line is Ocean City. So I guess it wasn't this bridge, but a little bit past it. So I'm gonna get there. And... I'm in. Oh. It was really cool though. I'd definitely do it again. So this uh, this map here shows the course I took. I started in Canal Front Park in Lewis, from which I went down the Lewis Rehoboth Canal into the Rehoboth Bay, down the east side of the bay, and camped on that island there. From there, I went to the Indian River Inlet, down the Indian River Bay, down White Creek, into the Asselwoman Canal, from which I got dumped into the little Asselwoman Bay, and I camped in Fenwick Island State Park. The next day, I went to Ocean City and completed my journey. This is a uh, full view of the, of the journey.